All right, guys. So today is going to be kind of the finale of this handgun right here. I just wanted to show you a quick shooting video and uh, just kind of express what my, my overall opinion was of the handgun as a whole. You know, yesterday I kind of touched base on some of the factors about this handgun that might or might not appeal to you and the similarities of other guns. Obviously, in the comment section, I definitely read as many of those comments as I could, you know, and there were some great comments out there. A lot of people were saying, you know, what some of the things were they liked or disliked about the handgun. I always appreciate those those comments. Um, one of the things that I would say is that in regards to, to just the way this gun shot, I did actually shoot in double action a couple of times. And, uh, you know, even though this double action is fairly heavy, it didn't really make for a significant gun movement. Um, yeah, the, the shots were a little bit wide or low. But um, I will tell you that the single action is definitely the saving grace of this handgun. Now, again, um, you know, some people were mentioning, like my friend Mateo was mentioning that he likes the, small, the size of this hammer, plus a, uh, a litany of other things that he knew more about this handgun than I did, which is awesome. And anytime I can learn stuff from other people, I really appreciate it. And uh, just the, the idea that you're really just getting a, a fine looking handgun and a fine handling handgun that will absolutely perform, I think is always an important factor in all of this. So my overall opinions are that while this gun is not necessarily the fanciest with all the bells and whistles, like I said, the integrated slides, uh, sights are kind of an issue. Um, the safety that some people are telling me will loosen up over time after use. Uh, you know, overall, this is, is a very strong selection to use. Um, again, some people also mentioned the fact that the price of this handgun maybe not may not be the best deal due to the fact that you can probably find right now some really good prices on, let's say, for example, the M&P 2.0 Compact. But again, it's going to be based upon what you guys like. You know, if you'd rather have a hammer-fired gun with a safety, then this would be a very strong option, especially for those of you who don't want to pay extra money for, let's say, a CZ and still have the opportunity to change some things on it. Now, while this doesn't come with the most robust features, uh, amount of features, I should say, you're still going to have a really solid handgun that's built very well and that's shot very well as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some shooting footage. I will narrate through it uh, to kind of give you a shooting impression and then we'll sign off from there. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed the review on this handgun. I have been very impressed so far with the Rock Island handguns that they've sent me. Again, for me, the 1911 that I was shot with them wasn't necessarily the best gun for me, but it still shot really well and the trigger was nice. I also do want to give a shout out, of course, to Arms Corps, that is the parent company of Rock Island, did send out the ammunition, and this, of course, is 9mm, 124 grain. And I do appreciate that, guys, because, again, for those of you who aren't aware, you know, self-funding your own channels can be a bit pricey, especially with ammo. So anytime a company is willing to send me the ammo and and send me the handgun to test. I always appreciate it. But like I said, it doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and just become an instant fanboy and say the gun is perfect, especially if there are some things that I want you guys to be aware of. So again, I hope you enjoyed the review. Take a look at the shooting. And like I said, I still think this is a pretty solid handgun. And I actually like this quite a bit. It feels really nice in the hand. Uh, it definitely is a, a viable solution for those of you out there who want to spend anywhere from you know the low threes to the mid 300s. So as always, guys, uh, at the end of the video, you'll see some shooting. I'll narrate it, and then we'll sign off from there. So I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, and as always, freedom is never free. All right, guys, so in this part of the video, I'm just going to show you, show you some really quick shooting clips. Um, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat was the gun was, um, was pretty darn accurate. Like I said, the saving grace of this gun is definitely going to be its single action. The first 10 rounds I shot were, were just um, better than I thought it would be. Let's put it that way. Now, ultimately, you know, obviously, I think sometimes reality starts to crash in because, you know, my first 10 shots are right on point, right on money. The sights were really good, even though they weren't high definition sights. But overall, shooting was really good in those first 10 rounds. Obviously, in the second one, and you'll notice I put the gun up there just to, uh, as I'm recording, I know what I'm actually shooting at the time. So I dropped the target back a little bit, and uh, I just kind of want to see what I can shoot, um, what the groupings are going to be about, and uh, see if I can keep it a little bit straighter. Now, interestingly enough, in this clip, what you're going to find is I actually have uh, an episode of having a double feed in here. And uh, unfortunately, you probably won't be able to hear it so well now that I'm doing the voiceover on the clip. However, one of the things I would say is that, you know, out of 250 rounds, I did have two double feeds in total. But uh, once I got those cleared out, there were no further issues for the rest of the day. Uh, again, with this um, scene that you see here, this is 20 rounds, two 10-round mags being used. 
And overall, the groupings were fairly good and uh, very consistent. Uh, the pace that I'm shooting at is a fairly consistent pace, not too slow, obviously not just unloading a magazine, but at the same time, quick enough to make some vital shots if need be, and still the accuracy kept what it was and what it needed to be. Again, the ergonomics are really good, and of course that beaver tail does help, you know, kind of hold that gun in place. And again, at this point, uh, the shots are a little bit off, you know, the quicker the shooting, uh, I'm going to be jerking that trigger a little bit. And um, on this last clip, uh, or last film clip, I guess you should say, this is going to just show the overall um, aspect for the day. And again, very happy and very pleased with what I saw with this handgun. I really do think this is definitely something people should consider, and uh, you'll let the target do the talking for you at this point. Have a great day, guys.